r slash no sleep. Posted by you slash Elias underscore Witherow. I'm watching it crawl towards me. Something is creeping towards me. I'm sitting on the porch watching it. It's night, a full moon illuminating the field before me. It's cold, my breath pluming out before me in thick coils. I flip my collar on my coat as an icy wind cuts through the dark air. It's getting closer. I can see it shuffling through the tall grass on all fours, its strange limbs bowing and flexing with geometrical symmetry that is foreign to my eyes. I've been sitting here for over an hour, watching it. I'm visiting my grandparents' farm in West Virginia and I want to go rouse my grandfather. I want him to see what I'm seeing. Maybe he knows what it is. Every ounce of my being tells me it's dangerous, but I cannot move. I'm entranced by the way it shuffles and moves, growing closer and closer. Its eyes are two white orbs, glowing like the moon overhead. It moves its head and the light from its sockets trace through the night air, white on black. The house behind me is silent, dark and restful. It is late, deep into the anti-day. The old rocking chair I sit in creaks beneath me. I rub my hands together against the cold and stare out into the vast field before me. It moves closer, now maybe 50 yards away. Its limbs shuffle like a spider, quick and sudden. It alters from two to four, taking a few steps and then rising like a centipede, its body curling up. I feel fear, but I do not move. Those eyes, bleeding their light through the darkness hold me in place. It is getting closer. Its body is sleek, the moon reflecting on its ebony skin. It's up on two legs now and I can see it smiling, even from here. How does something like that know how to smile? Back down on four legs again, pushing the dead grass aside like nature's corpses, the casualties of winter's assault. It sees me, I know it does. I shiver as I watch it in the moonlight. Where did this thing come from? What is its purpose? What will it do once it reaches me? I hear something now. It's coming from the field, from the thing. It sounds like the chime of a bell with the distortion of a crackling fire. Is it trying to speak to me? Is this some kind of animalistic hybrid of flesh? Or is this some twisted machination of a reality unknown to me? Its torso is almost human-like, slender and ribbed. Its head is elongated, a snout protruding from its face to expose long teeth. And it's still smiling. It looks like the face of a demented dog, but larger and intelligent. There's intent behind that smile. I need to get up and go inside but I can't. My bones are frozen to the chair and my mind is ensnared with terrified wonder. It's 20 yards away now, slowly rising up on two legs, one arm extended, pointing a long nailed appendage at me. I feel my heart stop and my breath clogs in my throat. The wind cuts into my face and I feel the darkness intensify around me. I try to stand but my knees are capped with fear. I can't move. I try to scream, but it's snatched away by a brutal gale that waters my eyes and cracks my lips. The sound of the bell intensifies and the creature's mouth opens to reveal a cluster of long yellow tongues, twisting and dripping with steaming saliva. They coil out of its mouth like a nest of snakes, hanging and squirming from its jaws. I hear a sound from inside suddenly and I cock my head around to look in the window behind me. A light comes on and I see my grandfather at the kitchen sink, pouring himself a glass of water. I want to scream, alert him that I'm in danger, but I can't seem to remember how to use my vocal cords. I watch as he drains the glass down his throat and the light goes out. I can faintly hear him retreating back up to his bedroom, leaving me in isolation once again. I snap my head back to the field and my breath freezes in my lungs. The creature is gone. The night air swirls around me, bringing with it the first flakes of a snowstorm, I search the empty field with my eyes. I can't hear the bell anymore or the bizarre crackle of flames. It's just the moon and me. I realize my desire to stay outside is gone the weird trance fading as the snowfall increases. I tear myself from my chair and retreat inside, casting one last look into the field. It remains empty. I am upstairs now, curled into my bed. The snowstorm outside is raging with all the fury of nature's wrath. Even beneath the blankets I can feel the steely cold snaking its way into my room. My window rattles as a branch screams in the wind, scratching itself against the pane. But that's not what woke me up. The sound of a bell outside my door woke me up. Posted by you slash Elias underscore Withero. Horse slash 8 minutes. It was an incredibly hot day when I heard the knock on my door. One of those days where you close the blinds and crank the AC, trying to find relief in darkness. It had been like that all week, each day growing more and more unbearable. I was upset at whomever was knocking at my door because that meant I was going to have to get up and open that door, letting the crushing heat in. I quick saved my work on the computer, as I always do before leaving my station and walked to the door, 
mind still filled with thoughts of paints and borders. I have the fortune of working from home. I'm an artist and I draw backgrounds for various cartoons and animations both on television and the internet. I had almost finished my day's work and so it was especially irritating to be interrupted and break the flow I had been enjoying. I reached the front door and opened it, raising a hand to my eyes against the sudden sunlight. I felt the warmth of the day drape itself around me like a heavy blanket and I could feel myself begin to sweat. No one was at the door. I stared out at the empty street and could feel my irritation grow. Some kind of joke? That's when I looked down and saw that someone had left me a small package. I quickly bent down and picked it up, bringing it inside. I walked over to my workstation, turning over the small box in my hand. There was nothing written on it. No address, no name, nothing. I weighed it slowly in my hands and it felt like there might not even be anything inside. Sitting down in my desk chair, I began opening the mysterious package. Inside, wrapped in some old newspaper, was a single DVD. I tossed the box aside and held the disc up to the light. Written sloppily on the disc were the words, horse slash eight minutes. I wondered what the hell that meant and saw that the disc was really scratched up, as if it had been played over and over again. I sat there for a few moments, figured what the hell, and popped open the computer's disc tray. I wasn't sure if it would actually read the DVD considering what poor shape it was in, but after a few seconds, the player popped open on the screen and the video began. What I'm about to describe does not give justice to what was on that disc. I'll do my best to convey what it was I was seeing as the first few seconds ticked by. The video was grainy and shot in a very dark room with deep maroon lighting pushing only the darkest shadows off the screen. In the middle of the frame was a person, sitting down, with their back to the camera. I could only see from the shoulders up and the person's arms were resting on the armrests, just out of sight. The person appeared to be wearing some kind of dark winter jacket. Instead of a human head though, it was the head of a horse. Its mane was grown out and looked almost like human hair. It was black and greasy and fell down to its shoulders. Its head was turned, looking slightly behind itself, towards the camera. The one eye that I could see was completely white and severely bloodshot. Its mouth was twisted and almost ripped back to form a smile that looked both painful and amused. Its lips were pulled up almost to its eyes and the gums were black and irritated. The initial shock of what I was looking at caused me to jump. What the hell was this? What was I looking at? I sat, captivated, feeling both creeped out and curious. The thing didn't move, it just sat there, staring, unblinking, at the camera. Its shoulders seemed to heave with almost desperate, heavy gasps, but there was no sound of breathing. I cranked the volume to max, listening for anything. About every 20 seconds, I thought I could hear a single bark somewhere off screen. But it didn't sound like a dog barking. It was the sound a person makes when trying to imitate a dog bark. It was so faint that I put my ear to the speaker, trying to catch it and decipher some sort of clue as to what I was looking at. Another 20 seconds passed and something barked again, ever so faintly. I leaned back in my seat and pushed the mouse around the screen. I was 7 minutes in and nothing had changed. The figure continued to stare at the camera, smiling its sick smile, teeth clamped together. Its shoulders rose and fell neither gaining nor losing intensity. I scrolled over to the pause button and clicked it. Nothing happened. I tried it again but got the same result. I clicked to exit out of the video played, but my computer seemed frozen while the video played. That's when the horse head moved. In one terrifyingly quick moment, the thing spun towards the camera and let out one loud bark. It was the same sound I had been hearing on loop, but much louder now. As soon as it barked, the video ended. I sat, stunned at what I had just witnessed. I didn't know what to make of it. I realized my heart was racing and despite the AC, I was sweating. A deep uneasiness filled me and I quickly stood up and opened the curtains to reveal a setting sun. I turned on all the lights in the house, knowing I was being stupid. Questions raced through my mind. Who had sent this to me? Why? What did it all mean? Was someone messing with me? Something about the deeply serious nature of the video haunted me. I felt an almost intimate recognition of what I had just seen. I was shaken. I went outside and sat on the porch until the night put the day to bed. The open air calmed me slightly. I even began to feel rather foolish. Eventually I went inside and started to wind down for sleep. It's 1.57 AM. Something woke me up a few minutes ago. At first I wasn't sure why I was awake. I lay there in silence, taking account of my situation. Then I heard it. Something was barking outside. One single bark about every 20 seconds. That awful skin curling human bark from the video. I lay paralyzed in fear, just listening, hoping that the sound just stops. It's distant, but present. There didn't seem to be any other sound in the world. 
I'm writing this on a pad I keep by my bed and hope someone finds it. Something is going to happen to me tonight. I know it and I am so scared I'm crying. The noise keeps repeating. Please. If you ever come across the DVD labeled horse slash eight minutes, I beg you, do not watch it. The barking outside stopped. Now it's outside my bedroom door.